Hi, brothers and sisters in Christ. So, sister in Christ shared with me a supernatural experience where she heard God's audible voice. And this was a very powerful encounter she had with God. And I'm going to be talking to you about that. But before I do, like always, I want to encourage you to go down to the comment section of any of my videos. Because in the comment section, I have a long comment that has a bunch of evidence for Christianity. So if you're not a Christian and or if you're a skeptic, check that out. Check that comment out and let me know what you think. If you are a Christian, I also encourage you guys to read that comment and please spread it. Also in the description box of all my videos, I have a message about the end times, the rapture, second coming, the antichrist, things of that nature. So you can read that also if you're interested. Now getting on to Pamela's supernatural experience. She wrote, one encounter I would like to share was a physical visitation I received from the Lord about eight months ago. It was early one morning that I had a dream that three women were witches and were trying to attack me. They put an object in my driveway. I'm not sure what it was, but I found it and threw it away. Then they came to my house and began chanting something in, in, the front, in front of my family and I. So I told my children, we need to pray. And we huddled together in a circle with our arms around each other and began praying the Lord's Prayer. At that moment I woke up and I heard a male voice from the end of my bed say, Hold fast, hold fast. It was very audible. At first I thought, did I really hear that? Then he said it again. I know it was the Lord. I looked up verses with those words and I found Revelation 3.11. I am coming soon. Hold fast that which you have. That no man take your crown. To me this verse is God's 9-11, an urgent warning. I know without a doubt that my Savior is coming soon. This is the only time ever in my life that I have ever heard the voice of the Lord audibly. Feel free to share this message with others. God bless you. I will share more dreams, visions with you later. Shalom. So, this was very interesting. For one, um, Pamela had the symbolic dream of the witches that were in, in her driveway, driveway and what I like about this dream is that when she was getting attacked by the witches um, she told her children let's play let's pray and they huddled together and they began praying so glory be to God for that also another interesting was that thing about this experience was that she heard God's audible voice and, and that's pretty amazing and, and she heard God's audible voice and she understood what, what God was saying as you may know, I shared on my channel, God also revealed himself to me and and glory be to him for that. And in one of the revelations that he gave me, I saw him on his throne and I heard his audible voice. Like I legit could hear God's voice and he was righteously angry about something. But what was not revealed to me is what, what he was saying. All I knew that is that he was righteously angry. So Pamela's experience is similar in that fashion, but... Hers is kind of different at the same time because she understood what God was saying. And to her, God said, hold fast, hold fast. And that's pretty powerful. That's that that, that that's pretty much amazing. And people will say, oh, if God is real, why doesn't he reveal himself to people? Well, well, newsflash, God does reveal himself to people. You just need to do some research. And maybe if you seek them with your heart and you just... You were in prayer, you seeked God, you asked for revelation. Maybe he would reveal himself to you also. Who knows? And maybe he could use your testimony to bring people to him and reap the harvest. So there's people like that will say, oh, God's not real. If he's real, he would reveal himself to people. And all these like testimonies we find of people dying and coming back and what they claim. Even Muslims that when they die and they come back, they claim that Christianity is true. And Pamela's grandfather also had a near-death experience where where he died and he met Jesus and then he came back and he lived for another 10 years. I'll also will be sharing that with you guys. So please look forward to that. So this is what I want to talk to you guys about. Thank you for listening. All glory to God and God bless.